and welcome back to Reactions at Rock. I am Seth, a former radio DJ, and you know all the rest because you've been along with me for this journey, so I don't have to give any of those puns or stupid jokes or anything. You're just here for it. If you're not, you know that I come from the wonderful world of rock and roll. I'm a former rock DJ, a metalhead. I absolutely crush everything loud and fantastic. What I haven't been crushing for the past few years are these guys right here, and that's Green Day. The music got a little soft and a little experimental, and I kind of fell off. Uh, I was a diehard Dookie fan uh, when it first came out. Uh, I think I was the guy in the country that bought the, like, the second album. I don't mean their second. I mean the second pressing of Dookie ever. Uh, and then I just kind of lost interest. They, they started... I know it sounds terrible, but they started boring me just a little bit with ballads and politics and whatever. And I, I like music. And yes, music is life and music is politics. I get it. But it is what it is. You've already heard this from me on my last Green Day uh, track. If you don't remember that or you missed it, you can check it out up where? Right, right there somewhere. And of course, we're going to fire up the brand new Green Day. This song is called Dilemma. It dropped uh, like three days ago, maybe. Uh, I have not heard it yet, but I was told flat out, dude, check it out. It's fun. It's good. It's a, a great song. Uh Although I think we both misspelled it at the time, but you know, whatever. It was a good conversation anyway. So without further ado, this is Green Day Dilemma. Brand new song from them. I'm checking it out for the very first time. gonna pause it right there real quick kids do not do drugs but if you do do the right ones and be responsible don't steal shit from people to do your drugs just buy your drugs like a normal person but don't do drugs right anyway i really dig the intro to this song it really kind of has like a classic 60s california vibe it just kind of rings in with that that kind of fun California, this is going to be a, a fun song. And then it's all about having difficulty in navigating problems in life, and it's not as fun as it would have been. Or maybe they're having way too much fun and just pretending that it's not quite as much fun as it could be. But something else I enjoy about this, really, is it's kind of an upbeat, riffy kind of song. Uh, it's got that Green Day crunch with a little bit of melody behind it, and I'm actually really digging it. Um... This is not an old Green Day sound, but it's not really a new Green Day sound either. So it's kind of a hybrid of the both, and I'm, I'm, I am digging this. I'm enjoying it.
Okay, 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 okay. That, here's what I love about that song, okay? Uh, you've got, first of all, I recommend you listen to it with a good pair of headphones. You can buy them at the link below or just grab them from your drawer, your nightstand, your whatever, wherever you have your good pair of headphones. Because that song has some layer to it. That, uh, I mean, it's, there's a lot going on in that song uh, to make it sound that way and it's enjoyable. I really love the ride symbols only coming in on my left side. Um, I'm not sure what side this looks to you when you're seeing it, but it's my left. It makes an L. Uh, anyway, so like I've been like really enjoying that. The, there's a lot of uh, a use of like fading and um, overlaying different sounds in that song. And that makes it really, really fun. Also, it's an upbeat song, but I think and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments below. I think they're dealing with some serious topics here. Uh, from the sounds of things, maybe kind of falling off the wagon. Uh, was sober getting drunk again? You see him doing lines of cocaine or baby aspirin, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's just a headache. I don't know. But um, so it sounds like we're dealing with a serious topic. Uh, things are not doing so good if you were sober and you're getting wasted again. Um Although they weren't doing the lines with a hundred dollar bill, so they could obviously afford it. And there's an old saying in rock and roll that it's not a drug problem if you can afford it. I don't a hundred percent agree with that. I've seen plenty of rich people with serious drug problems, so let's just leave that where it is. But tell me if I'm right or wrong, because I'm picking up on a serious vibe of um, that this is a heavy lyrical song, that this is about falling off. And kind of fighting those inner demons. Do I want to be that party guy again? Or do I need to stay sober and, and keep my life? That's that's what I'm picking up out of it. Um, you tell me what you're picking up or that I'm an idiot or that I'm the smartest guy on the planet. Those are basically the only two ways this goes. I'm either an idiot or um, Einstein. So we'll go with Einstein. I, that's what I need anyway. But I dig it. I like it. That's both songs I've listened to off this new Green Day album uh, have been fantastic. It's there's a bit of a throwback to the old Green Day that 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 crunchy late '90s early 2000s Green Day, but they're actually layering it. It's deeper. Um, it doesn't feel I don't want to say sloppy because Green Day was never particularly sloppy. But if you've been a fan for a while, you know what I'm talking about. It, it this song and everything I've heard so far off this album feels very tight, very put together. Uh, less slop punk and more uh, corporate punk, if you will. Uh, it sounds like they've got somebody who knows what they're doing in the mixing booth, but everything, I'm digging it. And this is uh, one of those foot tapping, head banging songs. And I will be singing this like four days from now. Uh, I'll just be driving down the street and it's going through my head and I've got to get it out. So I'm digging it. I love it. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Great recommendation on that. Uh that's all there's left to say. All I got to do now is say goodbye. So with that in mind, make sure to hit those thumbs if you want to. Make sure to hit those thumbs if you don't want to. My studio is falling apart above my head. Ah, great. Here we go again. And, of course, you also got to subscribe. Uh, isn't it great when the guy points out stuff you would have probably never noticed? Yeah. Yeah, we take it real seriously around here, can you tell? Anyway. Thumbs button, like this, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more reactions at Rock coming up. Basically going to do this until I'm a thousand years old. Uh, and even then, my ghost will be coming back and doing these because uh, I'd get bored as a dead guy. So thumbs, comments, subscriptions, anything else? No? Until we see each other again, rock and roll.